right, my friend. Let's do this. Leroy! There's your vintage meme for the day in this vintage game. All right. This is actually your <laughs> maybe my least favorite deck in Vintage to play, but it's a, a prominent part of the metagame, so it needs to be had. For this one, we are definitely going to sideboards. I safe, I 100% assure you, we are going to sideboards for this one. I will keep. Holy cr oh, Yeah, I'm keeping. No, no. <laughs> what on earth, dude? <laughs> okay, this is a uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, let's see. As if you didn't note it from the title, can you guess what I'm on? So the play is, of course, in this order. Ta-da! <laughs> Now, interestingly enough, it might be right not to use this one against him first, but this one, but I'm going to pretend I don't know what he's playing, because that's fair. And I'm going to go with what is the typical line. Even if it's not quite as ideal for this match. I'm going to say we're at the North American Vintage Championship, and I'm sitting across from someone I've never met before. I'm just going to play the line the way I normally would. Oh. Mm. Okay. Did we roll for this? We did not, actually. Um, I think we just assumed it was the opposite of who won last time. Oh my <laughs> god! He has won every die roll so far in history of ever. Uh. Maybe I need to add some more lands to your deck or something, because that is a lot of mulligans. Oh. Then again, mine only has nine. My uh, one from last time. Pop's cold in turn. Okay. Put you down to 19. Alright, here we go. Show me what you got. Alright. You know what that's from? Rick and Morty? No. Okay. I don't even know what channel that comes on, but I've seen enough of it with friends. Yeah, we, we cut the cable. Our household did. I have Netflix and Amazon Prime. Yep, so you did too. That we is never had the trend. Cable. Oh, you never did? Okay. Yeah. Well, fair enough. I grew up without it, unless I was at a relative's. Alright, man. Here you go. Show me that recall. Soul Ring? That Soul Ring, okay. Models? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's see, that puts you at four cards in hand? Three. Three. What did I miss? Okay. Wait, one, two, the three, The Tarn became the four. sea. Yeah, I was on a mulligan. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's right, that's right. You were, you were indeed. Uh, Mock Sapphire? Mm. Mishra's Workshop. Oh, God, it's shops. It's shops. Welcome to the nightmare, no, and the hell know. that is this deck. Just cast artifacts, okay. Yep. Okay, so because my... Oh, that's not the one that... No. Because my, uh, my line changed because of my top deck, we're going to go Foundry Inspector, makes my artifacts one cheaper. Okay. And Sphere of Resistance makes all spells, you and me, that's one more. One to play. Okay. All right. And then I will pass the turn. So the, admittedly, that was the top deck that changed things. Then everything changed when the Foundry Inspector attacked. Only Hercule, Master of the Recall, could stand against him. But when the world needed him most, Go. he was in the sideboard. Oh, they can react each other for you. Mm -hmm. As far as they your do. lands, that's correct. They're yeah. not lands artifacts. Effectively, everything is now again as it was printed.
Um, I guess just to play it safe. In case we'll play a lodestone golem. Let's makes your non artifact or makes all non artifacts cost one more to cast. Yeah. Mm. If you want to force, you'll need to pay one mana. Or kill the inspector in response, or Inspector Gadget. I need that altar now. Yeah. <laughs> Just realized. Force, pit trees. Yeah, not a thing this deck can do about that. Uh, I will now proceed to combat. Yeah. Three? Yeah. All right. There we go. Little delay. So I should actually be at 14. Or 15. I mean. Oh, yeah. you. That's right. Force. Because you paid mana, it threw me off a bit. Fast turn. You are you are correct. Okay. Go. <laughs> that feel good moment, paying one for a mox opal. Okay. Oh, you are untapped. Yes, you are. Okay, I would like to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Just three? Three. Uh, main two, I would like to cast Tangle Wire. It's going to come in with four counters, and on each of our upkeeps, uh, we'll tap a number of permanents, I believe is the wording. Let's see. Uh, untapped artifact, creature, or land, uh, equal to the number of fade counters. And it loses a fade counter on my upkeep. So on, not now, but on your, oh, okay, we're going to counter it. Oh, uh, Fluster Storm. Oh, uh. Fluster Storm won't work on it. Oh, no, I always do that. Sorry, yeah. it's okay. Um, now I'll put four on it, and then pass the turn. Now on your upkeep, so you'll tap four of your permanents. You'll get to keep one of them untapped. One, two. And of course, if the monolith gets tapped, yeah, it stays that way. Can I float them? You can float it now in response, that's correct. So it'd be one, two, three, four, tap monolith, and as well, use the four to untap it? That's correct, you can do that. Very good. So go to draw stuff? <laughs> Very nice, man. <laughs> Drawback. What drawback? <laughs> oh, shops. What a stupid deck. So three. Yes. Expedition map. Uh, and you did pay the one extra. No. I mean, I you. I yeah. see. What, okay, it would be I'd four mana one to one floating. Okay, one floating. Um, I was getting a little ahead of myself. Oh. Well, four to I play guess it and crack it. Could have done that the other way around. I mean, it'd be either way. They'd both be tapped, but it would have been three with one floating and then tap for four yeah. blue. Um, but this way I'm just first to tap and get three. Okay. Sack, so I have two colorless. Yep. Uh, yeah, I did do that back acids. So, to recap, he made three mana off Academy, then he made three off of Monolith. He spent effectively four on Expedition Map. But if I were you, I would leave, I would leave blue mana up just in case, but you may not need it. You can spend your mana such that blue blue is floating. Yeah, instead. I have one blue floating. Uh, you should have blue blue because casting it, paying the extra from sphere, oh, and yeah, sacking yeah. it only takes four. Okay. Only takes four. <laughs> These vintage playable cards here. Expedition map from Does Hawk land in my hand? Yes, it will go in your well, hand. Land for turn. Yep. Ta da! Coup. That is an artifact. 
All right. Anything else for your turn? With your, you you'll still yep. have some extra mana. Okay. So on my upkeep, you did say no, right? Just yeah. To be clear. Okay. Turn. I'll go to three, and now I'll need to tap three permanents. So Tangle Wire, Sphere Resistance. Those are the easy ones. And then almost certainly the Mox Sapphire. Yeah, we'll do the Mox Sapphire. I'll float blue, but whatever. And then I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Mox Jet, you know, increase, decrease. Yep. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Yeah. Can't do nothing. Alright. I will pay four mana for a hangerback walker with two counters. Yeah. Uh, there's a die That's around right here. Right. Yep. And after that, I'll pass the turn. All right, so okay, untap, 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 untap. And then I gotta tap three. Yes, just three this time. All right. So two, three, four mana, untap. Mm-hmm. And go to draw step now. Yes. Uh, go ahead. On my upkeep, Tangle Wire goes to two, and guess which ones I'm tapping? Yep. Oh my god! Black Lotus? Yep. Because I needed that, apparently? Wait, no, that's three. I am at nine. Oh, did you accidentally take yeah, four? Yeah, because it's 19, 18. All right, we're about to get yeah. silly in here. Um, we're going to tap everything, which mm -hmm. means we're popping the Lotus. So yep. eight man all together. Six of it on Hangerback Walker yep. with three counters. Two of it on Arcbound Ravager. So one card still in hand, which means, in technical magic terms, we're about to get Shwifty. You haven't seen that, so I'm sorry. Um, now. I would like to go to combat. I'll take five. Yes, you'll take five. Yep. And then... Wait a second. Wait a second. Because I can. I think I can finish you here. I can. I can. Because. Let's see. No, I can't. Because if I sack this. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I can. I can. So sack Hangerback Walker to Arcbound Ravager. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Uh, so you have a, an extra count. This is two counters. Trigger Hangerback Walker, which makes three artifact tokens. Yep. Art, the flying artifacts. Sack them into Arcbound Ravager, and then sack them onto uh, Foundry Inspector, yeah. and put the counters on there for lethal. So when you go to sideboard, you have something in the neighborhood of six to eight cards to bring in. Bring them in. <laughs> they, they matter. Well, this is the match. All right, my friend. Here we go. Ta-da! This game, this episode brought to you by Store Brand Yogurt. Oh! I'll be able to play. Okay. Good way to play. Alright. Let's see how we're doing. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. I'll take it. Sure, I'll keep this. Alright. Seat. Opal. Crypt. Yep. <laughs> F6. Um. You want me saying any force of wills from me? Uh, three. So it's going to cast. Plus two. So. 
blue. It's three, right? It makes two. two. Crypt makes two. So Vault one, makes three. Uh, one colorless floating. Vault is the one with a Rubik's Cube. Thought cast. Ah, okay. Draw two cards. Yep. Very nice. Uh, one floating, right? Uh, I thought that, no, you spent... Yeah, it's three. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, three artifacts. That's an artifact. Three, okay, so one artifacts. floating. That's correct. One floating. So three artifacts Make you use green. three mana. Oath. <laughs> <laughs> Faster! Okay. <laughs> well, it's fine. I don't have a creature yet, but I do have to have a creature at some point, so... This is a problem. This is a bit of a problem, actually. Let's see, let's run out the ruby. Yeah. Soul ring? Mm hmm. I'm going to waste your seat. Yeah. And what is the right value for that? I think we're going to go chalice on one. Ooh. What do you say? Counter spell coming my way? Actually, a force pitch scroll. Oh. Yeah, all right. Nothing I can do about that. And so I'll pass the turn. So coin toss? Yep. Because uh, it's crypt. All right. Okay, so we're take. Uh, we didn't establish. We didn't say earlier on the video. Uh, odds are hit are hits, and you're safe on evens. The way yep. that he and I play it. Underground sea. Okay, and yes, unless I have a creature, unless I have more creatures than you, oath won't trigger. Twister. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, I mean it resolves. <laughs> <laughs> That's. That's a thing. Okay. Let's see what we have. Just a twin sister. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, time twister. Pretty good card, I hear. Sands one merchant scroll. Mm. Yeah, I was debating Nothing putting the, the chalice on zero. I, I didn't know if that would... Because that can hurt me. Mm -hmm. um, at least one is asymmetric. Even if it doesn't hit quite a lot of your deck. This is vintage, after all. But it hits key. Yeah. You know, so I think that's important. Remind me to ask afterwards how you sideboarded. We talked over that... Uh, ooh, okay, it happens. I mean, I'm not in the deck anyway. So oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, just those extra cards, those last few cards we were oh, yeah. trying to figure out. I think we established six, and then we had to find the others from there. Yeah, just there was a total of nine. All right, here comes seven. One, two, one, get, sing, see, sit. Awful pronunciation on my part, of course, as always. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Ooh, okay. Oh shit! I didn't do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, because I don't. I don't know where I have. <laughs> Get I don't have a clue what that was. <laughs> All right, so I will draw. Mhm. Mm Workshop. Emerald. I have the potential to make seven mana now. Yeah. To that end. I would like to make three for Trinisphere. What do you does know that what? do again? It's going to make all our spells cost three. If it would cost less than three, it costs three. It basically ups the cost. Yeah, I'm just... Can I not see your hand? No. I'm sorry, I, saw, I only saw force and you're about to cast that anyway, but... Yeah, I'm just going to force and... I guess I will pitch... Chain of Vapor, ooh. Yeah. That is... Yeah. Forecast. Yeah, that's I, that's probably better than than chain here, uh, and then 
we will tap three for, for Mishra's Workshop, Crucible of Worlds. Let's yeah. play Lands from My Grave. All zero of them right now. Yeah. <laughs> Last turn. Um, back when Wasteland was in my grave, that was great. Okay, safe. Drop. Okay, so... That's not as great. Well, but... See? Mm-hmm. Oh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Go. Where's that chalice on one when you need it? <laughs> I, there's nothing to stop the key. Pass turn. Let's roll that die. See what we got. Ah, uh, safe. Draw. I'm sorry, Jay. Uh oh. Two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, it happens. <laughs> That's the game. <laughs> Top deck. <laughs> I would like to be on the play for this next one. Wah -ha, ha ha Before I forget, he and I just discussed what were the name of those samurai? Uh, Brothers Yamabushi. I want to say. Brothers Yamabushi. They are both legendary, both red, both from Ch uh, Kamigawa block. And I would like for them to be errated to have the word partner because they're legendary, but if they're... How does it work? It's like you can have one that you has the same name. You can have both of them out. One extra, yeah. Yeah. So basically just give them partner. Just errated them to have partner. They might as well. There, there's a house rule for you. Not that it makes that much of a difference. They don't suddenly jump to being uber competitive, but it's a thing, I suppose. Okay, so I will keep... I like this. Uh, uh, uh. I'm not keeping. Ooh. And it's not because I didn't like the hand. I wonder why then. Alright, so, you're nice. You're really nice. You're pretty good too. Uh, there's nothing about this I don't love except knowing how he's transformed the deck. That could come back and bite me a little bit, but I don't really have another choice. That is way better than going to six and a half cards. And the odds of him getting that on the first turn are not high. Let's see. Here you go. Uh, Brothers Yamazaki. Yamazaki, okay. Yeah, is she a one, two, one? Uh, get exactly two with the name, and they each become four threes, if you have two out. Okay. Yeah, red is not... If you're going to play one color in Commander, just on its and own... there are three drops. Red is probably not the color. Well, you can play Krinko Goblins. You can play Krinko Goblins. And the blue player is going to Cyclonic Rift everything, and the green <laughs> player is going to play... Yeah, you, you, you see the idea. It's not that it's bad. The green player is playing Omnom. Or, or something like that. I guess they could play Azuri. Uh, Azuri spam. <laughs> I can keep this. Black plays every tutor, and so they just play the most consistent combo deck. Okay. They don't so, play every tutor. They don't play worldly. Okay, you know what I mean. <laughs> they get demonic tutor for crying out loud. Alright, see all of this? Oh, great. Hmm. Do I want to cash it in just yet? Because... Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Pop the Lotus. Mm -hmm. Two Phyrexian Revokers. Oh, yay. One is naming Time Vault, the other is naming Voltaic Key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then I will pass the turn. And so if you have an Oath, I may be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, well. Here comes Oath. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Problem? We just need something to use all that on. Wait. Show me an outcome. Uh, yeah, we want to save that for Academy, I guess. Um, well, it's your wasteland over there. Yeah. 
You put up a fetch land or a basic island or something. Uh, but There's, I have no blue. You have one basic island in the deck. I have no blue, though. Yeah, not right now. You would have to play something out. If you want to outcome me here. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, they're both instants. It anyway. might be worth it to outcome just to try to hunt for oath. Past turn? Well, it is an instant, so yeah, yeah, you could wait and do it. Mm, I don't know, man. I might have done it on that turn. Because you could go these three, and then you have you can hold up either tutor or... No, we'll see. Go to my draw step? Mm-hmm. I would like to go to combat. Yep. I take mm -hmm. four. Did you take four? Okay. That surprised me. I thought there were one ones. Forgot there were two ones. Wasteland in and response, in response flow. I probably blue. should have done this earlier. Uh, blue and they're one right. One. I'm going to repeal. Uh, they're CMC two. Oh. Well. Repeal. Uh, do, would you like to repeal the one naming Voltaic Key or Time Vault? Um. Uh, key. Okay. So, the one on Time Vault is still out. This one is back in hand. And then I must pass the turn. Frackin' waited! Funny how that works. I thought you were doing that with an outcome. No, I don't know if I can do one of them. Where's the die? Yeah, we were looking for it. <laughs> okay. Alright, you're safe. You're safe anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Still gotta re get rid of the other, but that's the thing. Oh. Well, that was out. You can still name it, though, can't you? No, it can't be played. That's what Rufus says. Yeah, the activated ability won't work. Okay. And on that note... Resolves? Yeah. We'll take key. Yep. So there's... Volt and key are both stopped again. I would like to swing at you for two. Yep. And then... Nope. Oh, just two. <laughs> yeah, pass turn. All right. Uh, uh, no, sorry, my friend. It happens. It happens. Oh! Matters. Okay. Go. Alright. Should have saved that seat. I would like to yeah, swing take four. for four. Put you at a seven. And then whatever my knuckle just hit. Okay. Um, I am gonna. Hmm. Hmm. If you manage to find Oath next turn, it may hurt me. I may... So the decision here is I have Ravager and Sphere. Mm. Ravager can come out if Oath makes it, because I can sack all my creatures to keep Oath from triggering. That doesn't a win make, necessarily, but it keeps me from losing on the spot. But I think I want to go for the Sphere here. Everything costs one more? Yeah, once yeah. I already have the board kind of established. Uh, pass turn. Five. Uh, boink, boink, boink. Alright, that should have you dead this turn, then. Yeah, I'm dead, because I didn't drop right. blue mana. Sorry, man. What, what was your hand, if you don't mind my asking? Yeah, there's that the That was outcome. the draw off the repeal. Of course it was, because... <laughs> magic is Richard Garfield intended. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Mm. Alright, so I, uh... I sighted in... Let's see. Oh, some of them are upside down, I'm afraid. Uh, I cited in more Crucible but of Worlds. I couldn't keep the seven. That was in there. Ooh, Sphinx. That yeah, was a thing. I can't keep that in my opening hand. No. No gosh, no. I'm afraid not. So two Crucible main, two Crucible side. That was it. 
That was all it. And I took out two tangle wires. Uh, because you are not a deck that has a lot of creatures on the ground, for which that matters. It still matters, just not as much. Oh, Oath. <laughs> yeah, so the transformational seven. board is exactly correct in this. Absolutely. And there's eight, nine. Mm. Um, okay. Should be everything. I'm going to have to, at some point, go back and look, re tinker your sideboard because it needs more slots for shops and for dredge. Uh, it's got three shots. It's got four hits for dredge. Yeah, the the four ravenous traps, which is right. Those no, are three ravenous traps. And rest. Oh, and rest in peace. That's right. Never mind. Okay. I don't know, man. I uh, we'll we'll work on that a little bit more as we go on. But I think yeah, that's going to do it for now. Three ravenous traps and a rest in peace. Hmm. <laughs>